morning. Yes, as you mentioned, you know, Pony AI is one of the companies operating and charging fares for robo taxis here in Beijing. You know, while we've been hearing a lot about Elon Musk talking about Tesla plans for robo taxis, they're here. We can take them. Uh, obviously, they've been only allowed to operate in a suburb of Beijing, but that's changing. This week, the government has been allowing more tests of robo taxi routes for about 40 minutes from the southern suburb and all the way to Beijing South Station, which is about you know, 20 minutes south from where I am right now. So they're coming closer to the city center, and Pony AI's VP told me that you know, in the next week or two, he expects that this route will be added to their app that people in Beijing can use to hail a robo taxi. Right now, in this first stage, the people need the, the cars need someone to sit inside for safety reasons but as this phased process goes on by the end of this year or early next year he expects that the drivers will be fully removed and you can go from Beijing South Railway Station to Yidrong in a fully driverless car. This is just part of a bigger plan that Beijing is rolling out over the next couple years and you know Pony AI is really excited about the opportunity that they're going to be working with the regulators to prove that their cars are safe and grow a business. Let's have a listen. We have a plan for mass production already, so we uh, work with our partner Toyota, uh, and, um, and the next uh, generation is going to be uh, the first batch is going to be thousands of robot taxis. Uh, we are going to see these vehicles uh, uh, launching and uh, hit the market by, um, by 2025. Uh, that, that's the estimation. Um, and uh, we definitely have a plan to, uh, to not just cover the Yijuan area. Uh, in the next two years, we're going to cover, uh, follow the uh, regulations pace. Uh, we're going to cover the entire Beijing rain uh, in, inside Beijing. Uh, this is the, our dream as well. Um, and also, we are talking to a lot of um, other cities. They have very strong interest um, about like uh, deploy our robot taxi service in their cities. Um, uh, I cannot uh, disclose uh, these cities right now, but definitely in the next uh, maybe six months to one year, we are going to see more uh, ponies robot taxi in other cities as well. And uh, it's going to be uh, very promising uh, once we have when we have city scale deployment. Say in one city, they have 500 or even 1,000 vehicles in one city, and uh, this operation can actually make um, make the revenue and uh, roughly close to and uh, the, the the operational cost to make the whole operation break even. Uh, we have uh, like a positive. Uh, um, like a margin, uh, like a profit, uh, then we can we can definitely scale up uh, fast. Um, I think it's gonna be exponentially fast uh, later in later years. It's important to keep in mind that even while these robo taxi companies are talking about all these advancements, sometimes it's just you know a couple cars. As Pony AI says, they're running between Yitrong suburb and the Beijing railway station. It's just incremental. There aren't taxis with no drivers in them going to be running around Beijing in the near future. But something definitely that regulators need to balance when it comes to thinking about all the taxi drivers. For investors, Pony AI is certainly a company to watch because the CSRC says they have filed for a listing outside of mainland China. So capital markets have something to watch. Back to you.